Hi, this is Rick from Green Our Planet. Today we're in one of the school fruit orchards and I want to talk to you about fruit tree pruning. So pruning, when do you do it? Well, for most trees, um, and deciduous trees, trees that lose their leaves in the wintertime, you want to prune in the wintertime when they're asleep. The only trees that are not pruned when they're deciduous are citrus trees, and they're pruned in the spring or early summer after fruit is set. So the first steps of pruning a tree are identifying the tree. You wanna find out the age of the tree, the type of tree, and where the fruit is produced. That's going to guide your next pruning steps. Some trees are pruned to more of an open center. Some trees are pruned taller, like you'd see most landscape trees. And some trees are pruned open shape, kind of a bush shape. If you're gonna prune fruit trees, you're going to need the right equipment. And what I have here is a pair of loppers. This is for larger cuts pair of bypass pruners. This will be for most cuts, most smaller cuts on the tree. Pruning saw for larger cuts. Alcohol for sanitizing your tools either in between each cut or definitely in between each tree. And of course, gloves. You can wear heavier gloves, leather gloves, if you're working around a lot of thorns. I like lighter gloves because they're not as heavy. The first type of cuts you should be making on your fruit trees are the large structural or thinning cuts. These cuts are made using your loppers or your pruning saws and they help develop the structure of the tree and open up the tree for the smaller cuts which should come after this. So we're going to start pruning this Panamint Nectarine. Nectarines like peaches, remember, are almost always pruned to open center and they fruit only on new wood. So I want to preserve as much of this reddish wood as I can. This tree will not produce fruit on this older brown dry wood. And when I'm picking my open center design, I'm gonna concentrate on the branches that'll give me the most fruit. So I'm looking at this branch, this branch, this branch to give me that nice open boss shape. Now again, like the apple tree, I'm gonna take the top of this tree out because we're never going to get fruit production on all of this older brown dry wood and this branch is pretty much useless to us right now and since this is a young tree we can shape this any way we want. So I grab my loppers make sure I'm at a nice comfortable spot. Nice clean cut. We also have a root growth growing out of this tree. Now with most fruit trees they are grafted onto a different rootstock. So anything that comes up out of the ground is not the tree that you bought. This tree will not produce fruit that is the fruit that you bought. It may produce something, but since we don't want this stealing nutrients from our tree, we're just gonna cut it off and remove it. And we're going to continue with the pruning for our trees. Now remember, you want to cut back on peaches and nectarines 50% of the new growth. All of these will turn into future budding sites. So, since I want to develop this tree young, I'm going to find an outward facing bud here, here, and here are possible sites. I'm going to make my 45 degree cut directly above the bud and remove that. When you're training branches, you have to think about future fruit production and the size of those fruits. 
So when I'm developing branches on this tree, ultimately I want 24 inches of growth between branches. That allows the fruit to grow bigger. It allows air to enter the tree, sunlight, and all of that is going to help you keep a healthier tree. So again, like we did over here, we're going to find an outward facing bud. That is where we want it. And make your cut. Remember, we're going for an open center, so anything that is not growing the way we want, such as these branches, this branch, these little stub branches, because we already have an established branch structure here, this branch would just be in the way. So that's gotta go. And remember, this isn't the final size or shape of your tree. It's young. You still want fruit production, but you want it on a smaller scale. So prune for that fruit production and just keep in mind that somewhere down the road, I may wanna cut this branch out and keep this as a main branch. But for right now, I want fruit on this branch. If the newer reddish wood produces fruit, why wouldn't I save the whole branch? Well, think about the size and the weight of a peach. And if that peach is developing up here on the upper part of the branch, this branch has no strength to hold on to that peach. And it's gonna bend this branch over and possibly break it. And that's gonna spoil your tree. So you're not only pruning for final shape, but you're also pruning for the health and what the tree can support. This is a thicker branch. It's much more able to support the weight of any fruit. And I'm not going to let it get loaded with fruit. I'll, I'll allow maybe one peach on a tree this size. But you have to think about those things when you're pruning your tree. Final shape, final size, health of the tree, size of the fruit, straight up and down growth. That gets removed. Do my final trim on the last of my branches. Gonna prune this one a little higher. And we have one more to prune here. Now it looks like we had a little bit of sunburn or damage here. You can see where the tree has tried to fill in the damage. I don't exactly know what causes damage and it doesn't seem like it's going to affect the tree, but this is the tree's natural response to insect invasion or bark damage, sun damage. This isn't in the right place. I think I'm gonna leave it and find out what it's going to be or how it's going to fit into the main structure. So remember, nectarines, peaches, open center, vase shape. Ultimately, when you're done pruning, you want three to five branches that are reaching out like a cup or a goblet. Somewhere down the line, I'll make a decision about these branches here. I may decide to keep this one, this one, and this one and cut everything else away. But in the meantime, you want that nice open center. You want enough of the new wood to give you a little bit of fruit and you want those nice clean cuts. The only thing left to do is to paint, apply a little bit of horticultural oil and we're done here. Hi, this is Rick from Green Our Planet. Thanks for watching.